Watch you guys today we're taking a look at how to remove and uninstall Microsoft Edge. Now if you don't like Microsoft Edge and you want to uninstall it then this video is for you. I have made a video on this before but people have said that that method doesn't work anymore so I thought I'd make another video showing you how you can uninstall Edge if you don't want it on your system. Now we all know that if you go to the apps section inside settings here so go to apps, apps and features and we go down to Edge. If we go down to Edge here and try to click these three dots, the uninstall part is grayed out. And this is because uh, Microsoft want it to be a part of Windows. And they don't want you to uninstall it. But you can uninstall it. And let me show you how. Now, the previous way was to go into your File Explorer here. Then go into this PC. Then your C drive. Then Programs Files x86. In here, there'll be a folder called Microsoft, and you would see all of the folders here. And inside the Edge and application, you'll see a folder with a number on it, and this is the actual browser itself. And uh, to remove this, you used to be able to click on this here, and then click on here, and then basically type CMD, and it will take you to that location, and then you could put in a path to uninstall it. For some reason, Microsoft have decided they don't want you doing this anymore, and they've stopped this method uh, for uninstalling uh, Edge. So we're going to show you how we can uninstall all of this stuff here and all of these folders as well, which have all the core parts and the update. And, and also we're going to add in a registry key, which is going to stop uh, Microsoft from actually forcing Microsoft Edge on you and installing it during during an update or something like that. Now, there is a, a script file which we've got here. I'm going to show you here. Now, this uh, original file was created by Dave Kirkwood. He has got a YouTube channel. I'll try and leave the link in the video description if I remember. And I've mod modified it slightly because it wasn't working anymore for some of the things. So I've just added a few things in like uh, the task here and stuff like that and removing some of the icons and other bits. But mainly the bulk of it has been done by... Uh, Dave Kirkwood himself. So check out his YouTube channel. I'll leave the link in the video description. So let's go ahead and uh, uninstall this. So what we're going to do is right click on the actual file and run as administrator. The command prompt box will open up, kill the process, and it will start to remove all of the contents, all the shortcuts, and it'll also add a registry key, which is basically going to tell Microsoft that you don't want it to be installed anymore so we're going to push enter here uh, it does leave the one here so i'm just going to remove this and that is it that is now removed and if we take a look here inside our c drive here and go to program files x86 go back to microsoft you see the temp folder is still there but there's nothing in there and it's removed all of the contents now, this part is what they've missed out to delete the folders, but basically it's tidied up and removed all of that now by just adding a couple of simple commands and uh, nothing too crazy. And if we go back to our settings here and go to apps and apps and features, you will see that Edge has been removed. You will see this little area here. Now, there used to be a way to remove these as well, and I'll have a look to see if I can add something to that script to remove these completely from here. But because Microsoft Edge is probably embedded into Windows itself, it probably doesn't want to allow you to remove it completely. And uh, because obviously when you go to install it, you're going to have issues if you completely remove it uh, because it is embedded and part of Windows. So what we'll do is it has been removed. And it's removed all of the other files. As you can see here, they're all gone. And it's been removed from the system. Now, if you want to put it back, you can do. All you need to do is open up a browser. Make sure you've got a browser on your system before you uninstall, because obviously you're going to have no web browser. I'm going to type in here, Microsoft Edge and uh, download there and all you need to do is go back here and click on the download button and download edge and then choose your operating system here and then accept this will go ahead and download it 
and it will install again back on the system and there you go that should now install edge back on the system as you'll see it'll come up here so it's not completely removing it from windows itself there's probably going to be some remnants left behind and that's because they're deeply embedded into the operating system and it's probably going to be completely impossible to remove it uh, like some people want and if you want to do that you're going to have to build a windows Lite version which i've already made a video on where i've removed it completely during that process if you want to know how to do that then check out some of my videos on my playlist anyway that is it that is now back installed on the system and if you go back into your directory here you should see that all of the files and folders are back in here it's that simple anyway i hope this one helps you out my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk Big shout out to Dave Kirkwood for creating the original script on this. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I'll leave his link in the video description. Just want to say a special shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And I shall see you on our Discord server if you fancy a chat. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.